on the way from uh, Montego Bay, Jamaica to uh, Negril and I just pulled up anchor. <sighs> I could not get it up. It was so stuck. It's never been this stuck. There's a really hard clay ground here, which is good for holding. But I had to run back and forth to the cockpit, put the motor in forwards and then jank it out and finally it got loose. Sun is shining, going downwinds, doing about four knots. Should arrive between 4.30 and 5. Nice. I'm having a little antifreeze leak. I do not understand where the leak comes from because the antifreeze goes to the pump and then it goes to the hose to the back to the heat exchanger and then from the heat exchanger it goes through a hose back in the engine so it would make more sense that one of the hoses would be loose but I tightened them all and I don't see any leaks there so I don't know I guess I'll figure it out when I'm back on anchor. This is the sheet from my jib and after the seven day solo sail it looked like this. This is horrible you guys have any idea what happened to it? Four years ago I crewed on other people's boats across the Pacific Ocean and learned the basics of sailing. After I had to stop building my cabin in Spain last year I decided to return back to the ocean. less than 20 feet deep here so according to the book that's ridiculous that's like one to seven but uh it'll make me sleep a lot better tonight i just put a pin on avionics so that i know where i am right now this is just an ipad by the way no chart plotter so let's here go to my uh, app from the ais sometimes i have to um renew it well so here at anchor you're you can see the track that I did so it, it's easier to so it looks like I dropped the anchor over there so I'm just gonna move the anchor here uh, and that should be where I dropped it now my anchor alarm is set as long as I keep the AIS on it'll show the track of everywhere I go so that I find it very useful in Cuba customs packed my drone and um, I didn't really have a souvenir from Cuba so now I do <laughs> You like it? Some of you guys commented on my uh, water jugs and a few fuel jugs. Uh, I'd like to put them amidships in the middle of the boat, but there's just no space. It's so narrow. If I put them there, I cannot walk anymore. I certainly cannot put them under the mast because then if I look from um, the cockpit, I just don't see anything anymore. It blocks my view. So yeah, the only way to not have them here is to get rid of them. And there will be a lot of you watching who are far better sailors than I am. And I rather play it safe than sorry. So I prefer to have extra water and extra fuel in case I need it. to order some parts for my engine and uh, I have a Westerbeek Universal M320B and I found out it's based on a Kubota G6200 motor that's actually what it is that's a bloody tractor not even a tractor a lawnmower 
I'm going around the world with a lawnmower engine. I at least expected it to be some kind of like decent tractor or something, not a lawnmower engine. I'm trying to find where the antifreeze drip is coming from and this is the second time I'm trying. Cannot find it. It's not a heat exchanger. Uh, it's like it's like dripping between the gearbox and the engine and when the engine is running it drips a little more but then I cannot reach it with my hand because it's dangerous and uh, when I stop the engine it's I can I cannot reach anywhere close to to where it's supposed to come from I do not understand that look at the white stripe on my hull this is from three days look how brown it is I have to be honest with you guys I'm a little uh, OCD probably a little lot or artistic maybe both I cannot handle this. I need to clean this before we go into town. All right, let's do this. I cleaned the hull inside the water and look at that nice bright water line. My mind is at peace again. Just uh, pulled the dinghy on the shore and now I'm gonna explore it here. It's quite touristic. Uh, I wanted to get something to eat, but it was like $10, which is like, well, for a bit of rice and pork. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, the book says don't leave your boat unattended. Well, you know, if you're a solo sailor, it's kind of difficult because if you never leave your boat unattended, you can never go to shore. Uh, yeah, let me show you a bit of the area. It's about a red stripe beer. Apparently that's really, really Jamaican. Here, the one stop Coco shop. And what's your name? Coco. Okay. Coco. Everybody, when you're here, go to Coco shop. This is a shop. And there are a lot of these uh, stores here. All right. Thank you, thank you so much. It's, uh, I, I really enjoy the colors of uh, Jamaica. They make me happy. Um, I've actually been talking to Sam Holmes and uh, we might meet up at the end of the year. And like I noticed in his videos, he doesn't use music and I'm very curious what's your opinion about it. Because it's a lot of um, work to put in music, but I, I do actually like it. But uh, like if the majority of you guys are going to say that you that you actually don't like music, then you know, take it out. So yeah, just leave a comment about what, what you think about it. Yeah. Uh, it's nice. It's I haven't seen so many tourists in a place in like a long time. So I just talked to a very friendly officer. So this whole area I'm not allowed. This is just hotels. Then there is the Strip, which is just tourist shops and then hotels again. So uh, yeah, I think this is a really nice place for a week to get drunk and do things like that. But uh, for my videos, it's not particularly too interesting. So I think I might uh, head on to the next location soon. I just walked to the end of the tourist shops and then oh, here's the boat. And then here is where the other side of the hotel parts start again. At the stalls, they are a lot less pushy here than it was in Montego Bay. But I read in a book, you should say no with a big smile. And that's what I'm doing. Isn't that nice? Isn't that what we all should do in life? Say no, but with a big smile. I'm on the way to Blue Fields. Apparently not that many people cruise Jamaica and if they do, they choose for the north, where also the most tourists go, the north, well, and the place I just was. So I'm gonna continue along the south coast uh, to Blue Fields and uh, hope we can uh, meet some local life there. It's a very light wind today and the water is pretty calm. That's really good because I 
I actually don't have any experience yet with having the main full out and then uh, being solo and then putting it down. So this is a, a good practice. Just been dodging fish pots. There are fish pots everywhere. It's like a bloody minefield. Oh, there's another one. Found some local fishermen over there and they are going uh, for lunch in their town and they invited me to join. I have no idea where we're going but we're gonna find it out. Okay so apparently this is where we're going. I wonder if they live here or if they just park their boat here. I gotta stop filming because I need to put the dinghy motor up. So they just caught a bunch of lobster. Yeah, on the chops in the sea. Pretty good. Yeah. What's your name? Dago. Dago. Hey, Dago. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. And you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, man. What is it? Dago runs. Dago runs. Yeah, man. No for so the family. These are their boats, and they go out at night, and then they sell the fish they catch. Uh, yeah, right. So, so this is hanging here for sale, or? Yeah, yeah, selling. That's a shark. Yeah. Okay, so this is on the side of the street, they sell the fish. Yeah. This is uh wow. So what document you have? It's pretty nice. For about six dollar you can buy a fish and they actually make it here for you, so I did that. Huh? No, I don't I don't put you on a video. There's nothing behind me. Alright, now I'm following this. What's your name? Melly. Melly, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Too. He doesn't mind to be on camera, the other one's dead. Yeah. He's gonna show me his village. It's a little painful on bare foot, but that's okay. Me too. Me too. Uh, yeah, I think your, your feet are much stronger than mine. Two houses, yeah, the wood, join it together. Here they're building concrete yeah, structures. So he's gonna show me a bit more of the town village here. So this is the grocery shop. Yeah. Here? Small grocery shop. Of oh, the village. village so I see some chickens. Oh, and yeah. some graves. This is my uncle's chicken farm. These are his uncle's chicken farm. Yeah, yeah. My, my uncle's. My All right. You see the common people first now, yeah, it's not easy. Uh, All the people who do it, who put it. Shit, sewage. So this is a. 
Here's ours. This is where we're gonna cook the fish. Okay, so now we're gonna weigh the fish. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, I can choose? Yeah, yeah. Choose the one where you want. Choose the one where you want. I know, uh, you choose a nice one. I have no idea. Okay, I want uh, that one. That one? This one. Or, yeah. Yeah, man. You said I should take these two. So, I'll take. This, 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 this is one pound. Okay, I believe you. These are cutting. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna put spices in it. My friend is making the wood for the fire. Yeah. Creating the right. fire. Plastic tonight. The fire is getting ready. Onion, scallion, all purpose. You're gonna spice the yeah. fish. Yeah, water, I got full of water. Sorry. This is awesome. Are you cleaning the fish with engine coolant? No, man. I'm just kidding, I'm just water. making a joke. <laughs> I'm gonna have no tears. We don't have a spice now. No. We're seasoning the fish. Yeah. See everything from scratch. <laughs> Duck, put on the eating in pan it, see you know. You like spicy? Yeah. See me get hot. Yeah. Burn, so I just turn them. So I mean. Nice. A crick. Ready. Thank you very much. Well done. I just, it's filming. I haven't filmed. It's oh, fun. it's filming. Okay, so he's by the beach having his roast fish. That he just got from the locals. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh, no? no? Yeah, yeah, fit. Skin the yeah, skin. Fit. The skin. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Strip off this one. Okay. Yeah, let's strip it yeah. off. That's what I mean. That's the yeah. skin, so you don't yeah, have to eat the, that. Oh, okay. You it's eat this skill, part. So yeah, want frog. Mm. Use your hands, yeah. Not you want a fork? No, it's fine. Alright. Strip it off. So, yeah, yeah, so I mean. When oh, it's good. Yeah, man. It's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Too much. Really good. This a better food you get us on. And that's the chef. That's nice and soft. That's bling. Yeah, man. Mm. And that's the fish vendor. That's my mom. That's Scylla. So for all your fresh fish, come to Belmont, Westmoreland, Jamaica, and you'll get fresh fish. Yeah, that is and real, that man. is bossy. That's He's a nice. drunk. He's always yeah. drunk. <laughs> All the time. And that is Braveheart. He's the captain. He's the captain. He's the captain. He goes and catches the fish. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the view of where yeah, they sell the fresh tea. fish. The boats come oh, in. Man. They cook the fish for you, fry the fish, whatever type of fish you yeah. want. Fresh yeah. fish. Oh, the boat is right there. A few boats. Then there's a little guest house over there. And this is the beach. Island life. How good is it? It's really good. It's soft. It's, it's perfectly cooked. This is Melvern. Melvern is a little hungry right now, so he went and got a fish and he's roasted the fish too. And that's the fire. That's a wood fire. And that's the tin they put it on. They season it, put it on the tin. There's another way they do it, which is in the foil paper. But they did it the natural way today, just on the tin. Thank you, sorry, thank you very much. That's awesome. It's, uh, it's uh, 9, 10.30 in the morning. Apparently he's drunk, so they're going to throw him in the sea. Go on, go on, go on. 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 Go on.